The National Human Rights Commission is now adopting a community-based approach to promote reconciliation of persons affected by Boko Haram insurgency. Executive Secretary of the Commission, Tony Ojuku, said this at a two-day training of community stakeholders and Transitional Justice Reconciliation Committee in Meduguri. Jesse Tafida reports. This training organized by the National Human Rights Commission is aimed at institutionalizing a transitional justice mechanism at all community levels. Thus, the Commission believes will translate to lasting peace reconciliation and development in post-conflict areas. It is therefore based on these foundations that the National Human Rights Commission is working with traditional and religious institutions across the project states and communities to use their platforms to advocate for peace, reconciliation and justice. A reconciliation committee for the three states most affected by conflict, Borno, Adamawa and Yobi, has been set up by the Commission. They are saddled with the responsibility of providing opportunity for confessions by perpetrators to victims and also reconcile them. It is our hope that working with the government of the three project states and indeed the region, we can begin an annual convening of this forum to continue to advocate for the roles of traditional and religious institutions in peace building and social justice. Reintroducing the traditional justice system to us is not a new thing and we will not find any difficulties, to my mind, in having a brush over of what we have before. This is coming with a little bit of modernity of some kind of technical experts to guide us on how to do it better. Participants at the workshop believe that this will be an opportunity to rebuild trust in resettled communities. Jessica Fida, TVC News, Maiduguri.